now that we know what a tangent and a normal line is, we have to remember that to define any straight line, we need two things. Remember that every straight line is defined by y equals mx plus c. Remember that this value is called the gradient, and this other value is called the y-intercept. This is also called the slope. So, if we want to find the tangent or the normal to any curve, we need to find the gradient and the y-intercept. And this is what we study in Mathematics SL. So, let's do an example to see how to find these two values. Let's suppose that we want to find the tangent to a curve. Let's use a very simple curve, such as y equals x to the power of 2. If we have that function, and we are going to try to find the tangent to this curve, let's say this is the parabola that results when you graph something like that. We need to find the tangent. But as you see, this curve can have many tangents. It all depends on the points. For example, if the point is here, then this will be the tangent. But if the point is here, the tangent will be completely different. So if the exercise says that we have to find the tangent to this curve, y equals x squared, we need a point. They have to give us a point. Let's say that the point is at x equals, uh, let's say, 1. That would mean that when x equals 1, this is the point we are interested in, and consequently, the tangent we are interested in is this one, not any other one. I'm going to use the red marker for you to identify what we are talking about here. If they say, find the tangent to the curve y equals x squared at x equals 1, what we are doing is finding the equation of a straight line that passes exactly through this point when x equals 1. This is a point in the parabola, and this is also a point in our straight line. So, I have a question now. Maybe you're wondering, okay, in this point, the one that I used, the, the one that I uh, marked in red, the x coordinate is 1. But where is the y coordinate? Can you somehow find the y coordinate here? No. Well, one way to do that is, <laughs> is using our formula in the parabola. Because this point is also a point in the parabola we can replace the x value here, and what we're going to have is y equals 1 to the power of 2, and that means that y is equal to 1. So the value here is also 1. We now know that even though we don't know the slope that is the gradient of our tangent or the y-intercept, remember that what we're looking for is that, right? We don't know the gradient, we don't know the y-intercept, but now we know that that line passes through the point 1, 1. And that is going to be very helpful. So the question here is, how do we find the gradient of this straight line? How? Well, the theory says that it's very simple. What we do is that we derivate this and replace the value of x. That's going to give us exactly the value of the gradient that we are looking for, the gradient of our tangent. So, derivating this should be very simple for you in this stage. Because if we do that, and I'm going to use the eraser here. Let's say, derivating this, y prima, that would be equal to 2x. If I replace the value of 1, that's going to give me the gradient of this line. And if I do that, let's say f prima of 1, it's equals to what? To 2 times 1, and that's going to give you 2. I now know that the value that I was looking for is 2. So, the gradient of my straight line is 2. Now I need to find the y-intercept. And to do that, I'm going to use the point that I had, 1, 1. I know that the gradient is 2, and one of the points, 
or that line is 1 comma 1. Replacing this point into my line, I'm going to have, oh well, remember that this is x and this is y. So replacing these two values, 1 and 1, I'm going to have something like 1 equals to 2x plus c. Ah, but x is also 1, so it's 2 times 1. Conclusion. From here you can immediately know that 1 is equal to 1 minus 2, that would be minus 1. And that is, uh, I mean, that has sense because, as you see, my tangent is going to cut the y-intercept in a negative value, and that is minus 1. Having this value and this value, now I can answer the question. What is the equation of this straight line? Well, it's very simple. The equation would be y equals... 2x, well, 2x minus 1, and that's it. I know it's a little bit disorganized, but I am sure that you can uh, rewind everything and play it as many times as you need it. Okay, practice, practice, practice. That's